You know how many people have tried to get into this plane and fly with this man? Yes, for the second year in a row, we are back at Technofest. And this year, it's not just Turkey's biggest aerospace and technology festival, but the biggest in the world, setting a world record with over one and a half million visitors. The festival is taking place here at Istanbul's Ataturk Airport. And this year, there's a whole host of activities, such as aviation shows, hackathons, workshops, concerts, the World Drone Cup, and over a dozen wild competitions. Now, let's go get our geek on. They even have simulations of all kinds in case you're interested in becoming a pilot. A car, helicopter pilot, sharpshooter, and even fuel for a turbojet. A techno fest is never complete without a ride on the Erodium. I'm here with my friends from Indonesia and they created and built a fully functioning prosthetic arm. Let's find out more about it. Use uh, solar cell. It's solar powered. Yeah, it's amazing. Solar cell. So actually, you don't need to charge it, but in emergency, you can charge by the battery right. here, or you can charge by the power bank. We are in front of the Jazeri flying car, which is Turkey's first flying car locally produced and manufactured here in Turkey by Baikar. Give us some specs on this bad boy. As you said, this is the Jazeera flying car designed for urban air mobility solutions. It's a very good fit for crowded cities like Istanbul. Beautiful. And is it safe though? Yeah, of course. It has double redundant uh, propulsion system and triple redundant flight control system. Even for motor fails, you can safely fly with the other four. So it's very safe. It's going to be very safe, even safer than today's automobiles. Yeah, when you're inside, you just pull the flight board, the control board towards you. You have it all on one single joystick, all the controls on one joystick. I feel like I'm gonna fire or something. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. A must have piece of technology if you're into privacy. See you never, pesky drones. I'm here with Khan of the Karadeniz Technical University. They just took first place at the underwater UAV competition. How did it go? How did you do it? They took home 40,000 liras. Yeah, uh, it was so hard for us. It was so challenging. Uh, the, the vehicle had to work autonomously underwater. And finally, we did it. Thanks. Yes, we're finally here with the main man of the event, Selçuk Bayraktar, the founder of the Turkey Technology team and the mastermind behind Baikar. Tell us about Technofest. We want Turkey to prosper in, in the areas of high-tech, uh, aerospace, and we want to showcase Turkey's rapid development in high-tech in defense industry, and also we want to uh, further this development into the other civilian areas. The sky is bright, and it was yeah. bright the whole, uh, you know, almost the whole of Technofest. We believe that uh, yes. the future will be bright. All right, right now, uh, Selçuk Bayraktar is checking out the plane and making sure everything is solid and ready to go to fly. You know how many people have tried to get into this plane and fly with this man? Feeling super blessed. Everyone needs a suit like this, because this vessel is bomb.com. This bomb is the first of its kind, and it's the first time that I've ever been excited about a bomb, because this doesn't start fires, but puts them out. It has the ability to extinguish over a thousand square meters of burning forests. And this was also manufactured to NATO standards, which means that every country in the world can drop these. So the future looks bright against forest fires. Ooh, we just hit the jackpot. I'm here with all the competitors at the World Drone Cup. There are 64 competitors from 38 different countries. Let's go find out what it takes to be a professional drone racer. Amazing, and how long did it take you to build something like this? 
Um, these I could probably make one in about four hours, like straight time. Obviously, four hours. Yeah, it's all. A lot I could barely brush my teeth in four hours. What are you talking about? <laughs> This is Luisa, and she's from Italy, and she's one of the competitors here at the World Drone Cup. How did you get involved in drone racing and drone building? Well, I'm so excited, and I'm, I've been flying drones since 2017, so it's been two years now, um, as drone racing, uh, because I'm affected by spinal muscular atrophy. My cousin has SMA. Oh. It's crazy. So you know about but that. But you're doing great, though. Yeah. I'm lucky. Wow, that's bellissimo. To move my hands, I decided to break, to take a wow. radio in my hands and started flying. So I have always loved racing and every sport that involves that. So I found this. And I mean, hopefully you'll be world champion one day. Maybe one day. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's incredible. Is there any way I can do a test flight? Not with these ones. These ones are a bit... Are too stuck. fast for you. Test flight? Like what? For me. Test flight? No, sorry, man. Cannot do that. No one trusts me with no, their drone. No, trust me. Trust me with the drone. Usually we make fun of DJI guys, you know. Thank you Technofest for blowing my mind. I can't wait to see what you have in store next year. <laughs> yeah! Technofest is so chock full of activities, it'll blow your mind and even your accessories. It's broken. Guess who's got the extra set of keys? 